Hello everyone, we're back with chess pattern number 16, the thorniest pawn, so similar to the thorn pawn, and here the T is very important, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so what's this pattern, uh, what's this pattern about, the thorniest pawn, the pattern here is about closing off this king, so let's see one thing to remember, so it's all about keeping the king locked, no access to the g7 square. How does the pattern play out? You just play h6 and block the, the escape square. So for our sample game, we have this game by Gary Kasparov. <laughs> or Kasparov. And this one of these famed Nemzundian lines from old times. I guess it's still played nowadays. Like, I'm not a Nemzundian player addition. And here in this end game, white is able to get uh, somewhat more active king and starts crashing through and now comes h6 and white uh, black simply throws in the towel there's ne really uh, like this is a big threat and getting the knight here and the knight can't move because of this and the king can never move this is uh, like the king is actually has no legal squares which would be stalemate if we removed all of these <laughs> pieces but yeah of course it's not so um so yeah, it's uh, by the way, this pattern occurs more so in the end game. Like of course it does occur in the middle game, but it's more of an end game pattern because I like, uh, not I like, but but I mean the point of this pattern is to close in uh, the black king from escaping in the end game where the rooks become active and they are able to pick up some pawns, for example. Uh, in the middle game, when you play this h6 to close off, usually it's tied in with attacking ideas, and this isn't really the point. Okay, so for our whoops for our test, so we have this game by Dorsa Derekhshani, um, who is an up-and-coming commentator actually nowadays, and okay, so this is of course let's stop a bit here, knight of five, attacking here and taking here, nice move, and now. The question is, do you go for this h6 idea as we have seen? And if you do, what's the point? What's your follow up? And if not, why not? So remember, of course, this is still like it's not an endgame position because remember, the endgame according to uh, the Saltus rule is any position with less than or equal to 13 points and non pawn material. And this position has how many points and non pawn material? 5, 10, 3, 6, so 16 and 16 for black so this isn't really an endgame but it's going to become an endgame quite soon and uh, there are no queens on the board and uh, yeah so remember that here you're closing off your attack if you play h6 maybe you want to play h6 so consider that carefully think about it uh, try to figure out this move pause the video and see what should occur all right so for the full game and the answer so again we're taking Siciliano, the dragon. I think she has a video about this on YouTube called Taming the Dragon, so you might want to check that out. And yeah, so here she does play h6, and it is the correct move. Uh, the point here is that just the black king is so much worse off, you don't really need to go for this h6, g6, you don't really have enough for an attack without the queens, and th it's not necessary because this just like kills off the black king. like going to need seven years to get out of this and uh, she's able to play uh, to play f uh, a four here and actually just win the bishop so this is also the other point of course winning the bishop and now you think for example like this is starting to get equal maybe like if the rook comes here perhaps you can take take and you have a few pawns to fight off the knight but you get rook c4 and it's gg so again revealing the point of this h uh, uh, h one push so of course i maybe oversold it a bit like here the point of h6 is a bit tactical to win this bishop but of course like okay like uh, she could have uh, uh, guadalupe could have played uh, could have played bishop f8 of course but uh, then of course bishop d4 and the same thing yeah, yeah so you get the point guys <laughs> so uh, that's it for this video very important to remember like closing off the the black king 
And this occurs actually quite often in the King's Indian attack, uh, in King's Indian attack positions, where sometimes White doesn't get a checkmate in, as is uh, basically the plan in the King's Indian attack. Sometimes Black survives that, but in the end game they end up with the pawn being on h6 and the king being on h8. And like the rooks might infiltrate and uh, win, ba win some important pawns while black is trying their best to get out of the back rank mate. So very important pattern to remember, especially in the King's Indian attack. Alright guys, with that, thanks for watching and goodbye.